Hello and welcome back to the Premier Injuries channel. Today we are doing an analysis on Richarlison's injury history. For all you Tottenham fans out there, but also those who have general interest in the Premier League, whether you bet, whether you play Fantasy League, whatever, this guy is making a huge move across from Everton to Tottenham Hotspur. He's one of the hardest working players in the Premier League, which I will get to in a little bit. But Ben, is he one of the hardiest players as well with a good injury history? Yeah, in Richarlison, we're talking about a fairly robust player, you know, since his arrival from Brazil in the Premier League. You know, his availability in terms of the Premier League appearances, it's in the high 90s. First season at Watford, available 100% of the time, featured in all 38 of their league games. And that uh, robustness, that re availability, you know, that carried on through his career at Everton. Funny enough, last season was probably the most injury hamper that he's had in English football. But again, you need to contextualise that. We've talked about many times before, the pandemic, the short pre-seasons, but then also his involvement for Brazil in the summer uh, with the Olympics and uh, I think it was Copa America as well. And then also, you know, he didn't have the reliance of that Dominic Calvert-Lewin in that Everton squad. So maybe Richarlison was maybe overworked a little bit and was forced to play when ideal, you know, ideally, you know, Rafa Benitez or Frank Lampard may would have preferred to put him on the bench. He's picked up his two most significant injuries during this period. One of those being in and around Christmas, which was a cough problem. Now, thankfully, due to COVID, the shutdown in those games postponed. He only actually missed one game. But in terms of his return to play, that was 30 sort of plus days. And there was also a knee injury in there as well that resulted in missing four Premier League games. But like I say, generally... We have a player who is pretty hardy, takes a lot of kicks, a lot of knocks, but seems to brush them off, you know, and gets himself ready for the next game. And so just with those smaller injuries that you said there for this season, it's nothing to worry about then. It's not like something that you would flag as, as maybe a potential for recurring from now on. Yeah, absolutely not. I mean, if we had another disrupted spell in this upcoming campaign, you know, that may ring alarm bells there may be a red flag there but certainly in terms of you know where we were last season and what we've seen since his arrival in the Premier League I, I would have no concerns at this moment Tank, he's a guy who plays a lot of football starts a lot of games and plays a lot of minutes and ultimately you know takes a lot of kicks and I guess uh, maybe a question to you knowing the type of manager that Conte is do you think that maybe he can come on even more. You know, you said there he's quite hardy. He's quite ability to kind of ride these tackles and more. But do you think that maybe he might even find an, an extra athletic peak there? Because Conte not only trains his players hard, but he controls every aspect of their lives, their diet, all these sorts of things. He, he's a perfectionist, isn't he? I, absolutely. And I mean, any player, can, you know, if you kind of thrive under a manager like Antonio Conte, then you're probably in the wrong sport. You just look at that Tottenham team now and the way it's set up and you're wondering, you know, is Richarlison nailed down, you know, for a starting berth? The suggestion, you know, with that reported price tag of, of around 60 million, then, you know, you're not going to displace Harry Kane. Hoi Ming Sung certainly starting. So then it's probably between him and Kuvaletsky who's going to start. And Kuvaletsky, you know, his performances while uh, arriving at the club have been outstanding as well. So, you know, there's a lot of competition there and it's going to be interesting to see how Antonio Conte sets up that team. I think as well, in many aspects, it might actually improve all those three at the top at Tottenham because, you know, the the kind of discussions that we have with Raj, the word that he likes to use is risk versus reward. With all of them, the kind of risk versus reward scenario there is they kind of have to play for Tottenham. There is no strength and depth. There isn't that much great backup. And then suddenly they brought in somebody of, of really high quality who can play any of those positions. He could play back up to Harry Kane, to Son. Um, he can play all those kind of positions and it, and it eases them off. And again, you might actually see improvements from all of them if they can have their minutes managed a little bit more. And he's also one of the hardest working players in the league. You look at the kind of defensive work that he does. And in terms of pressing, in terms of his numbers there, he's like top five, six, three percent on some of those numbers in the whole of Europe. It's, it's actually startling the numbers there, really kind of good defending from the front and he can play that Conte style very well so 
in terms of it then no kind of concerns then and i guess on that point there ben do you think that his depth adding to the squad could actually improve the likes of kane who quite often is risked a little bit just because he's so good yeah, absolutely. That you know, the arrival of Richarlison that offers a little bit of a safety net. Um, you know, Tottenham are going to be pushing again European football. But we've spoke about this congested fixture period. You know, the Premier League will start seven days earlier, but there is at least another four rounds of Premier League football shoehorned in between the start in game week one and in November before the teams break up for the World Cup. And also, you know, we don't have those international breaks as we typically see after game week three. And I think it's game week seven um, on a normal uh, domestic campaign. Well, that is the insight into Richarlison then to appease or to, to allay any of Tottenham fans' concerns and maybe to give concerns to the rest of the Premier League because the team is strengthened with a very hardy player there. But as always, if you want to strengthen your arsenal of information, do subscribe to the channel because we always have no rumour no misinformation. We just give you the straight facts and analysis. But for now, we're going to wish you the best of luck, the best of health. And we will see you again with another analysis very, very soon.